Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to go to device manager, make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager. Now, expand human interface devices. Now, over here, if you find HID compliant game, like HID compliant game controller, so over here you can see HID compliant game controller. If you see this, make a right click and then you can disable this HID compliant game control. So in my case, I don't have it. But if you see HID compliant game controller, make a right click and then click on disable device. Make sure that you disable only HID compliant game controller and then relaunch the game and then check. And once you're done, once you're done playing the game, you can always enable it. Now, the next step is to disconnect keyboard. So if you have any external keyboard connected to the computer, disconnect it. If you have Keychron keyboard connected, disconnect it. Disconnect that Keychron dongle connected to the computer. Disconnect any kind of dongle or USB adapter connected to the computer. Now, this has worked for many uh, players, so it might work for you. Disconnect Razer Tartarus. If you have any kind of flight sim hardware connected, disconnect it. Disconnect external devices like if you have Hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Again, external keyboard, disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, the extra dongle connected, disconnect it. Disconnect arcade stick, disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any virtual controller like VJ, etc. running, you can disable it or uninstall it and then you have to relaunch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to disconnect and reconnect the controller. Simply disconnect and reconnect and then relaunch the game and then check. Steam users enable or dis disable or enable the Steam input and then restart the game. So if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to controller tab over here and then select disable Steam input. Now relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even enable the Steam input and check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is for non-Steam users, you can add the game to Steam. If you don't have Steam, you can install it from this website and then you can close if you have the game on eApp, close eApp and the game before you add it. Now go to Steam, click on add a game and then click on add a non-Steam game. And if you have the game on eApp or Epic Games Launcher, go to the game installation folder. So click on browse over here. So in my case, it's in EA Games folder. This is the location. Now open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add selected program. And once the game is added to the Steam, now you can launch the game and then check. Launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, you can add eApp. If you have the game on eApp, again, click on add a non-Steam game and then click on browse and then go to C drive. Yeah, program files, electronic arts, EA desktop, EA desktop. And you can select EA desktop over here and then click on add and then click on add selected program. And once the EA desktop app is added, now you launch EA app from Steam and then you can launch the game from EA app and then check. Now, still not working. The next step is to use wired connection. So you can connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer. And once you have a wired connection, now you can relaunch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.